his gameplay. Yeah. And he is someone, when we saw him, he just, the raw skill that he had when he first kind of blew up on the scene. It was incredible. You know, everyone was talking about it, all the top players talking, and Nairo in particular really saw him as someone who's actually truly good and not just kind of carried or utilizing just strong, general strong tactics. And so it's exciting to see this now that Eon is going to be going up against Quartz, one of the best to ever do it. Nairo, I know this is going to be a hell of a set. Yeah, and I actually think this is a great matchup for Fox. I don't think he beats Paulo by a landslide, mm -hmm. but he's definitely a character that can make Palutena uncomfortable. He's really close and personal, and Paulo doesn't have that much great boxing options, but right now, Nairo is doing much work on it. Oh, absolutely, man. Yeah, it's one of those things where, ultimately, Fox is a character who is such a stellar neutral. Arguably one of the, the best neutral in the game, not one of the best neutrals in the game. And the thing about it is, when you're going to go Paulo, Paulo has a couple moves that are really, really amazing. But outside of that, like her pokes, her tilts, those kind of things aren't that strong. And that's something that Fox can really abuse. Right, and of course, wow, that up air from Nairo is going to take it, though. That first thought, uh, and like, what an up air coming out from yeah. Nairo. Very brave. But, I mean, in the end, I mean, Nairo is known for that aggressive play style. Right? Oh, yeah, he loves that. Speaking of, same here. Oh, okay, trying to get a catch there on that teleport. Not going to get it. Yeah, and I love that Nairo, like, offered the ledge trump, he went for the up air as well, because most people will hold in on that ledge trump. So, really great stuff, and still living, but he falls oh, out no. of the up air! Ooh, so unfortunate. And we see a play here, too. Oh, that almost sniped yes. that double jump. That would have been <laughs> very deadly, but Eon sneaking around and getting that back air. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Oh, that bear is central. Yep, here we go. Oh, but the very last hit of that neutral are going to send Eon off stage here. High Firefox and Nairo Ooh, just going right trade. into the trade, yeah. And the air dodge, wait a minute. Tech. Pull down the, oh no, tech. Wow, and I, I I, couldn't really see if that was untechable or not. That is a pretty strong move. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, wow, I mean, what an edge guard from Nairo. Very creative, the drop zone there as yep. well. Didn't go for that down air. Really good mix up coming in from Nairo. Yeah, absolutely. Nair is just such a good tool off stage when uh, Fox is out there. That's always going to be a problem for him day one at the end of the day. This character is fast. But he also falls hard too, man. Oh yeah, and that <laughs> definitely falls hard off stage yep. as well. This, this character is such a menace on the stage. Yes. But when you get that character off stage, you gotta really make it count. And you see Nairo taking every single situation and advantage when he can off stage. Yeah. Good placement with these explosive flames. Oh, I love it. The classic. The classic, man. <laughs> El Clasico. <laughs> Nair to up smash. Always doing the job. You already know all the Fox mains. Uh, very, very appreciative of that yep. combo still being a thing. Uh, everyone that playing against Fox, I don't know about that one. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh not, no. Not like that. Yeah. Speaking of, I don't know about that. Oh. That's <laughs> that's not the life we're trying to live here. I I feel like he was he like I feel like he still should have had double jump there. Yeah. And would would have made it back. But I I don't know. Maybe if he like double jump directional air dodge or right. something of the sorts. But unfortunate SD coming out from now. Eon gonna. Gonna have to take that one for sure. Yeah, and that one's really rough too because honestly, it looked like in the initial purpose of the game, it definitely looked like it was Nairo's game to take. Towards the end, it looked like Eon was kind of ramping it up, but it seemed like one of those games in which, okay, even though Nairo may take it, Eon looks like he's moving forward, he's adapting. Right, right, and, and then you're gonna see something in game two, but yeah. it's the worst when you see your opponent adapting and you also end up dropping that game in the first place because. Now it seems like Eon is just going to ride the momentum all the way through. Yeah, it's a, it's a complete halt on Nairo's right. end for momentum there. And it's just so scary, especially when you're playing a, against a character like Fox, which is very momentum driven, especially True. in this game, yeah. particularly. This, this character, um, kind of different from how he played in Smash 4. Very like, now it's like so aggressive. You have to be able to get those hard reads on yep. the offense True. and like get all those resets, which makes it very entertaining to watch. Oh, opinion. absolutely. Yeah, again, I mean, Fox at the end of the day, doesn't matter what <laughs> version of Smash. Fox is still sick. <laughs> Fox <laughs> still is sick. always hyped, dog. Yep. 100%. <laughs> that's just how it is. 100%. <laughs> All right, so there's the sh and the constant cross-ups and the constant shield pressure, and that's one thing. Palu is good in, like, almost every department except those out-of-shield options. True. If you're knocking on that shield, it can be really difficult, but Eon... Oh, the catch, yep. And Nairo read the shorten. Yep. He knew that um, Eon likes to go for those shortens in those particular situations. Had the hard read on that and the backer to follow. Wow, yeah, what an stuff, edge guard man. from Nairo. Yeah, absolutely, and already getting some extra damage here, courtesy of the Wheel of Fortune, that beautiful Nair. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it, dude. Actually, the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you'll get. You man. never know, dude. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> All right, and Eon's like, yo, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's not trying to play the game, dude. <laughs> get me <laughs> off this show. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna get me, man, you're gonna get me off the show. I'm exactly. tired of getting edge guard. Exactly, man. Exactly. <laughs> 
Oh, there's the work. Cancel. Yeah, beautiful cancel on that platform. All right, going up and over, and right now, NRG Nairo looking like, even though with the unfortunate SD, and this is why Nairo is such a veteran player when it comes to, like, he knows those situations. Like, you know what? Unfortunate SD, I can bounce back from yeah, And absolutely. look at the opener from this game. A, a beautiful edge guard, and he's pretty much grabbed them. Now yep. taking two stocks without even losing a single stock. Nairo in such a commanding position yeah, right now. Yeah, such a play, man. He definitely turned it up. He recognized the situation there. He's like, you know what? I was not supposed to lose that game. I made a mistake there, so I need to make it up. I need to turn on. I need to open the gates, man. And he's able to do it. Man, I, I feel like Nairo now, I, I've, it's, like, it's so cool because I, at first I thought Paulie wasn't a really good pick for him. Mm -hmm. But like now, it, I just feel like he's definitely found his like play style that he Group, wants to yes, do absolutely. with Palutena. And it's so cool because he goes for all these like aggressive resets when other Palutenas would like maybe go for the explosive right. flame or yep. go for the auto reticle. And it just really matches his style. And I, 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 I love seeing it come out. Yeah, absolutely. See, oh, the cash a, there on that platform, of course, getting that extension. Yeah, platform extensions. Fox is all about that, and especially the tech chases on the platform. Oh, yeah. Fox just react to that. And again, hit one connects, but not the hit two, and that's the important one, man. Yeah, <laughs> everything he's going to be getting that way too often. See, I love that cross-up. Beautiful bear going to hit him on the side of the stage. Has an opportunity here on the ledge play. And I love how Nairo was uh, smart enough to use that directional air dodge right off the bat. Oh, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> I tell him how it is, man. Oh, all right. Uh, yeah, you, know. you know, most Fox players, they got to have the tech chases on yeah. tech. And you know, sometimes you get the footstool tech chases. Oh, yeah, like, of course. Uh, dang. <laughs> oh, but that oh. Bear, the wings, of yep. course, going to seal it out here for Nairo. But you know what, Eon? That was a sick tech. That chase. was pretty sick. That, <laughs> I'll give it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> you got those young boy reactions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You, Go ahead, young boy. <laughs> <laughs> Do your thing. <laughs> but man, I love that. Back and forth here for both of these players. And yeah, and I just, I really want to point out that Nairo, using directional air dodge, like right after you get hit off against Fox, is actually a pretty good option just because Fox's offstage is not the greatest. He can run off Shine, run off Nair, but for the most part, like, he's not a character that you're going to see going offstage too often. Of Absolutely. course, depending on the matchup. Yeah. But, uh,. Yeah, and, and Nairo's just utilizing that to have a lot more mix-ups yep. when it comes to like getting back on the stage. It's really, really smart. Yeah, it's been working out very, very well for him. I would like to see some uh, kind of drop down. Uh, I love when people go in the drop zone and then they double jump back near certain situations on yes. their teleports. Yes. It's a really safe uh, space for Fox to actually go ahead and go for edge guarding in a way that if he misses it, he's not going to put himself in a comparable situation, you know? Uh, but we don't really see it all too often. A lot of times they want to stay on the stage and kind of prepare themselves for I the I've seen Larry track. go for it. Yes, yeah. Larry will go for it. Yeah. Which is really nice, and like you said, it's just it's just very safe. Yeah. And of course, uh, we're here on Battlefield. I, I believe this is uh, Fox's hometown. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Born and raised. Born and raised, you know. Yep. Class of 05, like, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> the classic, dude. <laughs> All right, so, I mean, right now, even with this great, oh, but the platform tech chase, but Eon not gonna hit that, and those are so important to hit. Oh, but there's a oh, snipe. Oh, there's the snipers. Oh. oh, I think he wanted to run off. Yeah, there, he did. Absolutely. Did not get the complete runoff, but nonetheless, still holding it down here. Back there. Wow. Dang, that, that throws pretty strong. Yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, that's a yeet. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so wow, Nairo, I mean, it just feels like after game two, Nairo kind of has a very, like, commanding read in terms of adaptation on the Eon's playstyle. Sure. Eon trying to play that hit and run playstyle, but. Um, it just seems like it's not working here on Nairo. It really isn't. Uh, it seems like, going back to what you said, going for the hit and run play style, a lot of times when he is running, Nairo is just pressing forward. <laughs> yeah. He's just stopping with every single juncture, and that's the really problem. He hasn't been able to kind of relax back, and again, Nairo loves going that fast pace. He loves yes. to be in a position where he can just kind of like, I'm going to go and try to out-button you, and you just don't know these options because you just haven't been in that situation as much as I have. Playing faster than Nairo is definitely a difficult task to do. Very much so. And it's crazy because Eon has Fox too. Like yeah, Fox is like exactly. so, so quick. And Nairo, so almost out, I feel like he's just outspeeding him in every situation. Yeah. And that's the crazy. Oh, no, Ooh, that's, that's so cute. Setup. Yeah, and I like the, he, the, the delayed turnaround yes. from Nairo. So he was facing forward, so Eon felt safe to do normal get him. Exactly. And it's like, uh, yo, man, I, I just did that, that slight turnaround. Yeah. Perfect position for that back door. Once again, Nairo up three stocks to one here. Game number three. Yeah, really good stuff. The Nair, oh. another one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I feel like that was an input error for yeah. Smash, because like for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. We all know. <laughs> oh, but look Again, at back throw, look man. at this pressure. Yeah. And and Nairo's just so good at smothering and oh. Yep. And, and this down tilt is Activa. <laughs> 
Yo! Oh, he oh. definitely wanted that down there. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you had, yeah sorry, I think Paolo. he tried to ride the stage up yes, there, but you, you have to get, hit that angle. But nonetheless, I mean, Nairo has a lot of those stocks to spare another tech here. Going oh. up. All right, okay. Can you get back on the stage here, but then there from cross stage? Nah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> chill, chill, all right. <laughs> that last hit, but I don't know why it has such a crazy knockback. It's actually ridiculous. Wait a minute. We got the uppers on deck, though? Yeah, we're starting. Okay. Ooh, wait, wait. On the okay. reset on the landing as well? Oh, yeah. Oh. I, I respect going for the play there. Yep. He has to make something happen. He does. He really does. And oh. that Nair, that last hit, of course, that thing hits so hard. And I see Mr. R grimacing in the crowd. <laughs> I love it because I know for a fact he always talks about how that last hit of Nair is the bane of his existence. He hates that move. Hates it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It yeah, does some things, man. Definitely, I, I feel like that last hit in air has caused a lot of rejoice for a lot of players yep. and a lot of despair yeah, for others. Yeah, I feel like definitely for him it's the wheel of despair. <laughs> no <laughs> fortune to be had. <laughs> All right, so Nairo up 2-1 here. And I, I almost feel like what what does Eon do in this position? Does he try to out-aggro Nairo? Does, does he try to be a little bit more run than hit? You know what I mean? It's just it's so hard because Nairo is so experienced. And like you said, Nairo doesn't care. He's going to keep running for it. He's going to keep coming at you. And his aggression, he's just known as one of the most aggressive players in the biz. Exactly. And he's been the most aggressive player since, like, Brawl. Yep, yep. <laughs> like, one of the most campiest games. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he's about that life. He knows. He understands how to read those soft, advantageous situations very, yes. very well. And that's how he's able to kind of continue those strings. One thing I would like to really see from Eon is maybe kind of play a bit more grounded. A lot of the times you notice when Nairo's actually interrupting him is because he's doing a jump back or he's doing a short hop, which usually is a very strong tool for Fox to kind of threaten people because of the sheer speed of the character. Right. But Nairo's not having it. He's like, dude, I can see it. Yes. I, I watched the code. I know the code. So he's someone that you have to respect in that regard and kind of sit back, be a bit more grounded, and go for some anti -air. And you got to be careful how you commit by this edge. I, I feel like Eon has been getting back thrown a lot for his stocks. And Absolutely. Nairo, of course, uh, much credit to Nairo just being able to position himself that way. But Eon also has to be very careful of like what happens by the edge because that's where I feel like he's dying the most. Yeah. I feel like he's getting the classic Muhammad Ali rope dope Like every single time <laughs> he see him in the corner, all of a sudden gets back thrown. Yeah. It's like, oh no, I'm <laughs> yep, in the corner. Look at me. I'm so right. helpless. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Can I do? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> and Politana definitely known for having one of the longest range standing grabs True. that's not a tether. Exactly. So, I mean, you, you have that quick standing grab. You have that range to back it up as well. So, and that's pretty much the one thing you do have to respect in terms of out of shield options from Paul Dane. True. And I love that Nairo is able to kind of still mount that pressure, utilizing that auto radical in a certain situation where afterwards he's been kind of rushing back and forth, but now he'll stop uh, going for any dash dances and then he'll bust out an auto radical just to keep him in check, always to keep him on his toes, not really giving Eon any time to think. Oh, can Eon gets the juggle? No, Nairo coming down swinging here, but. Illusion in the up air, no, not going to hit him with that smash force smash. Man, directional air knot, very clutch right there from Nairo. Nairo's going to kind of continue on the thread here. Unfortunate. Okay, okay. <laughs> I thought he like straight up dropped the punish. Yeah, like, yeah. That was enough smash and a half. <laughs> yeah, <bro>. yeah. <laughs> I really just wanted to kick him in the face. Like, he just had enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I like, we saw that really big uh, rapid jab float from Nairo, right? And of course, Eon going to take the stock from that. But I, I just feel like in general, Eon has had so much trouble taking the stock versus Nairo. And Nairo's just been so like pressure oriented or so slippery True. it's just like really hard for eon to nail that stock but for for nairo he's there every single time and again by the edge of the stage this yes. time with the back here absolutely man it definitely we've seen right now thus far it's really been battle of the corner and every single time you see the defense coming out of nairo he's always get, able to get a reversal situation on the other side of the coin for eon eon has just been having a hard time getting out of the corner once nairo pins him there it usually means a ton of damage if not a stock and another thing too, I feel like like Eon is doing a really good job in neutral, but like these little soft resets, he's not getting them. But every time Nairo like gets a string and a soft reset, he'll like nail it most of the time, or he's definitely nailing it more than Eon. And I feel like those little resets are adding up yes. over and over, and that up air almost taking oh it. Oh my goodness, so close. Oh, the air drag down into the jab. I I, I, I love me some drag down. Oh yeah, I, I always love drag down. Ooh, but the... Nairo trying to snatch him up right yep, there, but not in range the boot to follow. Yeah, he said not today. I had enough, actually. <laughs> Still getting yeeted. But this time with no rage. No rage, but you know. Oh, oh, oh not going to get it. And Firefox, a little harder to edge guard in this game. The hitbox, a, yeah. a little bit bigger. And it can be a little bit stronger, too. So you got to watch out. Sometimes you'll just get staged like so lose. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, like my gosh. Yeah, oh. I, I am loving that mid-range auto reticle. Just 
making him respect that Platform option. But oh, reset. You, might, you might have to hold it for that. Wait a minute. Are that might have been the play. Are we going to see a game five game? Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, the drop. Wait. Oh, oh the no. backer was so close. It to was very close. And there. that might do. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Wow. And how unfortunate he had to play. He had like he, he had, had the trump. He, he had did. the trump, and Nairo just kind of. I, I felt like Nairo had a slight delay on the double jump back on the stage, he and did. that's why Eon's backer did not connect there. Yes. So just wow, what a play!